Hello, everyone. Welcome to Thursday. Yes, welcome ah. to Thursday, and welcome to a very, very similar video to what you guys saw on Tuesday. Oh, this is gonna be fun. This video is gonna be basically the exact same situation as the Tuesday video. We had the same thing go on. We both went to the gym. Mm -hmm. Ryan had a class to teach after. Yes. And I did not. No. So I went to the bins on my own. Once again, I got a little bit of thrift with me footage, which I will put in in a second. Ryan has been taking a break from the bins, but luckily- I miss it so bad. I would just like to, for the record, the and books. whatever they say, yeah, get it on the books. I want to go back to the bins so bad. Luckily, so bad. luckily Friday, we're actually having like a family oh. bins extravaganza. So we're going, Debbie's going, we're having an extravaganza. <laughs> and my cousin, my cousin asked if we'd go with her and we said, yes, of course. So we are, which I mean, that won't be on the channel, but that's what's happening. So Ryan does get to go to the bins. Let me clean week, these glasses nice. so I can see what we're looking at here. <laughs> so it's the same thing, except much better. This bins haul is so freaking good. I don't know if there's any luxury in this at all, but every piece hmm. is a banger. You guys will see in the, banger, in, banger. In the footage in a second. Mom. I will kind of explain <laughs> how all this amazingness came about, but this is a really, really, really good bins haul, and I'm actually really excited to show Ryan. I can't wait. I'm super I think excited. he's gonna be kind of sad and disappointed that he didn't go, because it was good. I wasn't even there that long, because I no, filled my wasn't. cart so fast. You were there for, what, like an hour and a half? Like two maybe hours, maybe? two hours, yeah, and usually Which we're like, like three or for four. For us, it's like about half. We do about three and a half, four hours. Yeah. Four and a half if it's like yeah. really good. So yes, today's video is the same as Tuesday. Saturday will be a normal What Sold Saturday, and then next week we actually haven't really like planned out what we're doing yet. Mm -hmm. So if you guys do have any requests or suggestions, feel free to leave those below. And then also, we will have a second channel video on Friday. And the yes. second channel, I think, is always the first thing linked below. So if you're interested mm -hmm. in that, we've been posting every single week for like a good two months now. Which we I'm have pretty proud of. Like, I'm pretty yeah, proud of us. Get that like a little bit more active. Looking. Yeah, yeah. Because I love the second channel. The second channel is for fun, for relaxation, for enjoyment. For home yeah, it's not working. No, so it's just home guides. But let's Let's jump in. I think it's a little bit shorter than last time, but let's jump in to the thrift with me footage. Okay guys, same deal as on Tuesday. I'm here alone, I'm at the bins. I'm actually here right now, the sign's over there so I can't show it to you. But I'm at the bins all alone. I'm once again gonna kinda look for stuff for Ryan. I always grab stuff for Debbie. And obviously I'm getting stuff for myself. So hopefully we find some good stuff. Hopefully I have some fun, I don't know yet, but hopefully there's like some fun thumbnail or something that you guys just clicked on that says like, oh my gosh, like luxury Gucci Louis Vuitton haul from the bins. Bins, I can only hope. Let's go find out what we can find. This was my first find, so I'm hoping that this is a sign that this is gonna be a very good bin strip. I actually love to find this brand. It's called Michael Simon, and he always makes these tacky 80s sweaters. Nothing like some bins free people, and I just found three pieces in this bin. I'm usually not a huge blank NYC person, but I actually love this snake moto jacket. It was odd, but this Kate Spade bag was actually buried in a clothing bin, but I was excited to find it. This bin was gold. I almost just filled my entire cart based off of this whole bin. I couldn't even get clips of things because I was so quickly trying to grab everything. Here's how this row is going. Reformation cashmere, um, yeah. Just digging through a bin and I look up and see this nightmare. Can't have a bin strip without some Aretha Athleta and new Aretha Athleta at that. This vintage sweater might have a few spots to it, but oh my gosh, it's so cute. I'm so grabbing it. All right, and back to real time. Ah. And you might notice that I had a wardrobe change. That is because the first find that I actually want to show you guys is the only thing that I found for my own personal collection, and it's this leather jacket. And you might be able to tell what brand it is right there. <laughs> <Not> the <hands. laughs> boom, 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 boom. This is a Polo Ralph Lauren leather jacket, and I probably could get quite a bit of money for this because mm -hmm. it's in insanely like new it's condition. So nice. It has the '90s tag. 
in it that we're all kind of used to the older Ralph Lauren polo. I love that it says polo on the zipper too. That's but, so nice. oh my gosh, I love it. When I found it and I saw that it was like a men's large, I was like, this is gonna be a little big on me, which is perfect because that's, that's okay. exactly how I like coats and jackets. So I was like, this is mine. At least, at least for okay. now, this is saying in the personal collection. I love it, I think it's cute. So let's- I really want to get a leather blazer, complete side note me this too. year. I would love, I mean, like a leather blazer. My vintage leather jacket is kind of like a blazer. The one that I already have. I want like a blazer blazer. Mm -hmm. I just, oh, leather yeah. jackets in any form are amazing. Literally, this this haul is so similar to the last one. I again have like one bag, <laughs> one pair of shoes, and one random mug. Look I didn't that. even realize that. First up, the mug of the day, I guess, is this Mount Rainer National Park mug that I thought oh, was Mount like- Oh, Mount Rainier. Rainier. Yeah. Rainier. Rainier. I thought it was really, really cute, and it's by a brand called Final Switchback. Cute. But it's like handmade in Poland. Oh, it's like one of those like camping. Yeah. I looked this up and it retailed the rings. Hi, everybody. You sound like a wind chime. I kind of do sound like a wind chime. I, I looked this up just because I thought it was really pretty. And this sells currently for $40 on like camping, camping websites. Camping things are so expensive. So I thought I would grab that. It's cute. My one pair of shoes, these are freaking adorable. These are like oh, raffia, cute. but it's almost like a plasticky kind of like faux raffia pair of platform sandals. And they are by... Beach by Matisse, which oh, I have never adorable. heard of in my life. They're wow. actually completely brand new. And are these the ones that are made out of garbage bags? Oh, I could believe There's that. There's like, I remember seeing it on like Twitter that like some company that was like, I think it was like Matisse or one of those like smaller like beachwear, like loungy companies made like a sandal or like a line of shoes out of like recycled plastics, like garbage bags. And they're anthro. Oh. So even better. Yeah, they are super cute though. Next up is my one bag, and I could tell what this was right when I saw it, except I've never seen a version of this that's this cute. Mm -hmm. So it's almost kind of like a micro, would you call that like a micro wicker? It's kind of weird, it's like woven, but it is Kate Spade. Kind of like last time, I'm sure you guys have seen a few of these things in the clips, but just act like you're seeing it for the first time. Kate Spade, Ryan's seeing it for the first time. It's really This pretty. time you've seen nothing. No, I haven't Actually, seen I mean, he saw this. Yeah, but, I saw the jacket. I haven't seen it. But this now. is in such good shape. I almost have a feeling someone got this for the 4th of July and then was like, all right, done. And just it's like donated really cute, it. Though. I wonder if it's like one of those waterproof. I think it is really Water cute. resistant, not waterproof. But like the anthro in the last haul, it's in super, yeah. super good shape. Super cute. Once again, like the last haul, let's move on to the stuff for Ryan. I did find an urban bag this time, but I I thought we can't make the haul that similar. <laughs> like, yeah, it's like, like the exact same thing. Did you just thing. switch t-shirts no. and do the exact same thing? First up, I know what this is. Is this little like crappy lacy bralette, and this is by Out From Under. Yes, it is. Which is Urban Outfitters. And, I've sold this before, and yeah, black. Have you? Yes. Usually, I know. I love these. I know Ryan does good I, with the intimately style. I love them. Out From Under. Then oh this God. is a San Francisco. John Galt Oh, look at that. Oh, that's really cute. Yeah, and I think this is like the newer John Galt label, the one that's like kind of stamped in that says mm -hmm. J Galt. Oh, this is so soft. And it's San Fran. So cute. So if you want that, that'll be in Ryan's closet. Yeah. <laughs> this is a really cute cup she one piece swimsuit with these palm leaves all over it. And it is very clean. There's no liner thing or whatever, but oh, I checked no. and it is very Any clean. Any liner. Yeah. It's really cute though. The one pieces I think do a lot better are the like rash guardy kind of stuff. That's what I think. Does a little bit better than just like the separates. This, I guess you can hold them up. This is a is knit turtleneck that is kind of like a mustard and oh, white. Oh, little urban moment. And it's Urban Outfitters. And I know that you've been like moving slightly away from selling urban, but I thought like a sweater. A cute little sweater. Since we're going into fall. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. This is adorable. It, they don't go for like as much as I, like used to sell them for, but like an easy 20, 25 bucks. Yeah. Super cute. And then same situation. <gasps> but oh, I thought that was really cute this colors. One. I oh, like these are super I cute. I feel like there's also a lot of schools that use these two colors together. Like this colleges. one especially. So I think, isn't that like a- Oh yeah. Does one of the like Dakotas use, it's like bison or buffalo or something, and this is their colors. Is I don't you? know, I could be totally making that up. I have no idea. No, that's Boston. But this right. is also urban. I Apparently Ryan's not showing the tags, but this is urban but as well. Oh yeah. Do you know what sizes they were? Small for this one. And I think, I like this knit. This like really- This one I thought like, was really hefty cute. yarn. I think this one's gonna do good. Yeah. Um, and this one, I wanna say it was a small too. Medium, oopsie poopsie. 
Medion. Medion. Let's Thank move you. on to my amazing, fantastic, spectacular haul. I'm gonna start off, so I actually, it's kind of weird. I have it sorted almost by like brands this time because I just did that good that I found like multiple things from multiple brands that I love to sell. Mm -hmm. So I'll start off with the kind of, some of the miscellaneous ones and then I'll move on to more like the groups of brands. First up, this is a junk food t-shirt and it says Mustang and it has a Mustang on it. This I think is like an older junk food label and it's size 213 or medium, which is kind of strange. But I need to look huh? this up if this is like a free people one or something. Oh. I honestly would not be surprised because mm -hmm. it seems like a higher quality junk food one than just like the ones normal. You find at like Target. Mm -hmm. This is this a Lulu. Is a Lulu lemon. The Power Y. And sports it's a Power bra. Y camo sports bra. The camo Lulu is just like my absolute favorite Lulu to find. And oh, it, it even it still has, the, has size. the little. It still has the tag in it. Size That's six. a rare. Yes. That's super nice. Yes. And if you're a size six or four, there's a lot in here. There's a lot. Get out I them must, pocketbooks. It must have been one lady, <laughs> one girly, who was like, I don't want anything anymore. So this. Oh, I love this brand. <laughs> is a Michael Simon sweater. And it kind of, Michael Simon is very similar to like Bob Mackie, if you know Bob mm -hmm. Mackie. Or I feel like there's another one that it's kind of similar That's to. That's another one of those like really. Some of the older St. John's are almost like kind of like this too. Sweater brand. But this, is, this is a underwater like ocean animal. Talk and a cruise sweater. I know. Can you and imagine show? some like old big back in the day like vibing on like cruise bingo in this but this is like all that michael simon does he makes the wackiest craziest funkiest embellished sweaters and they do really good mm -hmm. because they're very like collectible and kind of almost one of a kind obviously he made multiple at the time but now that they're so so old they're almost one of a kind this is from 1995 and it's a size small this is so cute yeah i was actually really excited i love i love that they're like the shells are like vinyl yes it's like a vinyl patch. This was one of the first things I found. I was like, so cute. Yes. This was the first thing I found. Oh. And so kind of like the mage, again, this is like a clone haul from last <laughs> time. Kind of like I found mage first last time. I found this first this time and I was like, it's going to be a good day. So this is Legance. And it's a one. Wow! It's a one hundred percent silk, like python snake printed oh, blouse. I'm obsessed with this. And How I almost you? no. Well, I guess there's no silver. I had almost thought there was kind of a silvery tinge to the white. I think it's spots. just because it's like. It must just because it's silk. It just looks a little metallic because it's but like a silk. This That's is so, so pretty. cute. Also, I always think that snake print does good always. Like it's oh. kind of like leopard, where it just so, it's like. Okay, I've blouse. honestly never seen a Legans. Oh, is this like newer? It is because the older one's red and this one's oh. black. Sure. Huh. Wow. Okay. Well, that's a fine. <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking about. FOMO. FOMO. Me doing oh. good thing, educating the community, and then here I am missing out on all these nice deals. It gets better. Squeaky. It gets better. <laughs> <laughs> This is Nation, which I recently have decided I really like Nation. Love I feel like Nation. I probably skipped it millions of times the past like three years. I think I might have too. But now that I know what it is, and I know that it's like a revolve -y expensive brand, I, I do really pick it up. This has like the structured, like there's like kind of folded padding in here. Oh. Puffed sleeve, short sleeve blouse. Great like fall color, this orange kind of rust. Yeah, that's super cute. And it is a size small. So Ryan and I both pick up Nation. Oh, Nation. Nation does, had a few pieces kind of sit, but I've had a few pieces sell really quick too. Yeah. I have a slip skirt <clears throat> that I am still sitting on, but I think that's because it's not slip skirt season. This I only picked up because of style. I don't really know anything about this brand, but I really, really like this like jacket. It's called Saints and Hearts. Hmm. I looked it up in the comp, or not comps, the retail on their pieces are like 55 to 75. So it's like- It's like a boutique brand. Yeah, I think it's a boutique brand. It's cute though. But this is like a long, duster oh, length. Like I know, it reminds me of the Isabel Moran oh. jackets or the All Saints one that you have kind of. I love that jacket. It's like a duster length jacket, flannel jacket. And of course for fall, like this is, Absolutely perfect. Oh, it's so cute. I like the bigger buttons, the like tortoise large buttons on the front. I like the big pockets. This is very, um... Has been my role? Yeah, I was gonna say, it's very Prior Lake. <laughs> everybody... <laughs> a city that's close it's to us. It's a very semi-wealthy Minnesota lake town. And every one of the women that I... Because I student taught there for a little bit. And everybody would wear these longer jackets. 
from like October to when I left. <laughs> this is a really cute like ribbed. Oh, also that's oh, a that's like... a small medium, but it's also super oversized. It could fit like a large. Or this XL. is like sturdy. This is actually Kate Spade. Cute. And normally I wouldn't really sell Kate Spade tops myself, but ribbed has been very popular. Mm -hmm. And if you can't tell, this is like completely ribbed. So I'm gonna try this. Also, it is a knit. I think it's cute. So I'll try it. I think uh, it's cute. That's a medium. This is Sabo. Oh. Which I believe I am 99.99% sure is the same as Sabo skirt. I was gonna say, this is just thing? a newer label, I think, because they're both made in Australia. They dropped the skirt. So this is a size small, and it's this like bubblegum pink top with these oh, like cute. wide short sleeves. What? It's kind of like squishy and stretchy. This material is so nice. It's yeah. so soft. It's a size small, but it's very, very oversized. That is really cute. And whenever I have Sabo skirt, or Sabo, I guess now, it does really well. On Posh, mm -hmm. it does really good on Mercari. It does good, like, everywhere. This is my first time trying this brand. It's called American Giant. Ooh, that's a good one. I know, and I skipped a different American Giant piece. But it was really heavy. And you guys saw that our prices went up last time. Last time I went. Yeah, they did. So I was like, since it's my first time trying. I'm was just, it like a I'm jacket just, or was it like? It was like a waffle thermal. But it was heavy, which is weird because usually okay. waffle thermals like really light. I know that like there's like a sweatshirt. And the only reason I know this is because Courtney come tags. Every time she finds one, she keeps them. And she is like, they sell for amazing every single time hmm. she finds one. This is a size large, which I believe is a men's large. And this is a super, super nice like flannel. Yeah. I love that it's purple and mm -hmm. blue. It's kind of a more interesting flannel color. But it's really nice. I, yeah. It's, it's that super classic, nice. like super soft, almost blanket yeah. flannel feeling. Her pick for fall. Love. Then another new brand to me, I think Ryan's tried it before. It's called Commando. Oh, mm -hmm. this is a size small and I will need your help. Ooh. This oh, this is nice. This is a velvet da -da -da. jogger tank top jumpsuit. I love this. It's like huge, yeah. like waistband. I, I was looking this thing up and this thing retailed at like $200. Commando's very expensive. I, it's, the tag doesn't scream expensive at all. It's just kind of this like clear rubber It's really tag. like the Betsy Johnson TJ Maxx tag. <laughs> but yeah, this it's retails nice. at like 200 bucks. Obviously, I think that Bolo notebook is probably like flying off the handle at this point because all of these are brands I don't often pick up. What is this? What is this? Maybe we'll go to you at some point, but I'm gonna try it at first. So this is a jumpsuit. Oh, I was like, can Once I keep again. it? No, not for you to wear, <laughs> for you to maybe sell. Oh, wait, maybe though. But this is an Urban Outfitters new with tag jumpsuit. Nice medium. And it's by Out From Under. They make some of the softest which, stuff. Let me find that. And it's a medium. And so I'm gonna try it because I do really like the color. The like bleach wash. It's kind of, again. Purple. It's really pretty. Take a shot every time I say fall. It kind of gives me fall. It's very the fall. The colors. It's very fall. Like I could see going to like a farm or picking apples in this thing. With like a band t-shirt underneath it though, a little pair yeah. of like black Doc Martens, absolutely. Cute. This is Sundance. You this is something I'd be Sundance super Sundance. excited to find like at a consignment store or anywhere. Oh, pretty. Extra small. And it's this gorgeous- like, I like this. Floral mini dress. This little tiered. I should be telling you- I should be telling you guys like everything that's from, cause now you've seen the thrift with me footage. There was like one bin. Well, there were two, but mainly one bin that had like all this. Mm -hmm. Had the out from under jumpsuit. It had this. It had the Sabo skirt. Um, there's more coming. Most of the other stuff is from this one bin. So I'll tell you when those come out. Ooh. This is Zara, which I wouldn't normally pick up, especially like a label like this. That's okay. This is nice. But though. this is a super nice light gray. It feels like wool, Ooh. but it is polyester, but it really feels like wool. Yeah. Kind of like overcoat. Hey, this is going to be good for the fall. Some yeah. little office woman or some like well, and it's little in, professional. It's in like like new condition. No, it's And it's nice. a large. So it's cute. It's better than then throwing it Away. Yeah. <laughs> There's no closure to it at all. It's That's kind of okay. just like an open overcoat. But with just like a little white blouse, a little khaki pair of pants. Yeah, I cute little loafer. Cute. Good to go. Um, I have a few more things that are like other brands. These are onesie, which yeah, I sometimes like to sell onesie. It's mm -hmm. kind of hit or miss. Let's see the label. Onesie has an interesting onesie is another it one that doesn't like oh my gosh, that doesn't like seem expensive based on the label. And it's a small medium onesie. Cute. Then, this is a brand called Frank and Oak. Oh, I've sold Frank and Oak before. 
Um, they have some weird subscription thing you can do. I oh, was is that researching what it, is? it last night. I thought it was like one of those newer, like girly, slow fashion brands know. kind of a thing. But these are just like black cuffed trousers. And they're okay. new without tag because it still has the like this. The little plastic thing. Uh, size six. It was in the pile with all these nice things. And I was like, I'll get it to look it up. What and it I did have? retail for like a hundred bucks. So mm. I had a sweater from them that I think did relatively pretty good. This... Oh, this is really cute. cute. And again, it's a flannel, which is just exactly oh, what so I'm fun. looking for right now. <laughs> Polo Ralph Lauren Extra Small. And it's not just a flannel. It's a flannel that has like phoenix, oh. like quails on it. Oh my God, that's actually so cool. I know. Oh, this was really not in that bin with all the fun stuff. This was just like... It might have been someone's throwback because it was kind of at the top of a bin. Why? But like, oh my gosh. How cute is that? Literally? Also, the fun polo stuff like this, A, retails for a ton. And B, so sells like really, really well. This is Reformation. Oh, I love Reformation. And it's a cashmere puffed sleeve adorable v-neck sweater i feel like this is one of the soft things i think i feel like after this there. haul there's gonna be people buying like plane tickets to come to our base because <laughs> this is just like i, I love was this. just like as i was finding all this i was like am i being pranked or duped no this is an xl so it's a Good great size. size too and it's 70 percent recycled cashmere and 30 percent cashmere okay so some like yanked out the recycling bin and the wrist they kind of just they said, mm, give me that <laughs> this is a brand that I don't often like to pick up, but I, think I know what this is. <laughs> but I really, really like this jacket. It's blank NYC, mm -hmm. and it's an extra small. But, but this is super again, cute. Again, like snake print. I really like snake print, like a, a little lot. moto jacket. Croc and snake, I prefer a lot, co like compared to like leopard and zebra mm -hmm. and stuff. Fall, absolutely. Fall. Like, a little moto jacket, it's super so cute. Fall. Also, Goodwill, why are we sending all this stuff to the bins when this is all, like, fall, really good stuff? Like, Ooh. They, yeah, this is fun. This is weird. <laughs> this is new with tag, and it's by Nike Yoga, and it's men's. And it's an extra large, and it's this Sherpa fleece, there's a little swoosh, <laughs> like coat jacket and this was like skipped by everybody because i definitely was not the first person to go to this bin also there's no way that people didn't notice this like big green barney skin <sighs> who needs patagonia okay i was gonna send this for the rest of the video this is amazing okay we're just both gonna cook here and like oh okay I, I, it's one of those like so with these like fleece, like high pile jackets, sometimes the inside can get super like itchy. Like I have a Patagonia that's like that and I absolutely love it, but this is amazing. This was also, I think, thrown back or skipped. You look like a I pile don't, I don't of want to take this fleece. off. <laughs> I am obsessed with this jacket. This is a vintage sweater vest. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so cute. There's a few spots to it, so I think someone threw it back, but I don't Guess care. what we have? A washing machine. <gasps> oh my god, look! Isn't <gasps> that no, I'm getting flashbacks. So oh. cute. There's like a cow and a little like farmhouse. I'm obsessed with this. Come on, why That's would someone throw this so back? Cute. It was made in Korea, so it is quite old. It's acrylic oh. polyester and a little bit of wool, What's and it's by Russ. I, when I was in Denver, Medium. me and my girly friend went to go vintage shopping and they had the most amazing 1950s cow sweater. And I tried it on and it was just a little too small and I had to leave it behind. And this is what that reminds me of. And I miss that sweater so bad. There's like the spots. There's like one here. It's just one like here. Oh. I don't really care. Someone could get it clean if they so want, or cute. else I don't know. It's a very light spots. Okay, so pick a brand, any brand. Do you want to see Madewell? Free people or anthro? Let's do anthro. Why? That's like the best one. <laughs> Let's do Madewell because I feel like <laughs> he Made... says pick one and then he says, but not that one. <laughs> I feel like Madewell itself is just not as fun as the other two. So let's start with Madewell. Even mm -hmm. though, I mean, these are really good pieces. You might from not Madewell. get this jacket back. I'm so um, sorry to say. I might take I might it just back because I own it. I love this. So this is Madewell, and it is an older label, size medium, and this could end up being consigned, but I wasn't going to skip it. And it is, oh, a, it's pretty fall. So yeah. I'm going to try it for like a week. Mm -hmm. And if it doesn't do well, I'll just bring it to a consignment store. This is a really, really cute color. This is also made well. Okay, so this is we're all getting all this was in the same bin. Like I feel all like the Madewell people definitely only wear Madewell. All the Madewell, <laughs> most of the free people, and 
all of the Anthro. Do you think were... she was a Mall of America employee? I don't know. Because it's made well, and then, like, two stores down, it's free people. And then, like, not that far of a walk, <laughs> it's anthropology. <laughs> so, this is also size medium, so you can tell, again, it's the same person. But oh, it's cute. a really pretty, like, lavender mock neck oh, yeah. sweater. Kind of like the color, I feel like, of last year. And it's still very popular now. Mm -hmm. But I like that it's mock neck and stuff. And I think it's a wool blend. It's not 100% wool. I love that. This is a Madewell shirt that I love selling. I don't think this is the Courier. This is the one that's very close. I, I know exactly what you're talking about. I can't about. remember I what it's called, but it's name. very similar. It's size it small. But this is, like, oversized. So, again, I'm sure it's obviously yeah. the same woman. It might be a Courier shirt. I don't remember. But this would hmm. be such a good, like, Valentine's Day shirt because it's got different colors of, like... It's literally almost like a lipstick palette or, like, a lipstick oh kit. Oh, my God, it kind of is. A lippy kit? It's a Kylie lip kit. How? Because it's, oh, like, different said. shades of what I would picture as, like, lipsticks. Like, like a peaches. beige peach and, like, a red, dark red. But, yeah, this is really cute. These That's shirts so cute. actually do really well. People these, love these. These Courier them. and whatever the other one is called. I just want to be blended over this is Texture and Thread by Madewell, size medium, fall. Oh. So fall. I love this. This material is also super nice. It's got that lettuce hem sleeve and then the ruffly kind of mock neck neck. Is it like a flare sleeve? Kind of. Kind of. Yeah. She's got like some pizzazz. A little some going some on. Some flare and some pizzazz. This is also made well, and it's another jumpsuit, which I hate photographing jumpsuits. It's a pain so in the So that I'm wasn't fun, but also I was going to skip them. This is a size four. Like I said, lots of four and six coming up. It's just like a sleeveless kind of tank top style black jumpsuit. Once again, good for fall. It's wide leg, which is nice. You can wear a little sweater. Good for fall. Kind of witchy if you're like mm -hmm. a... <clears throat> feel like a jumpsuit witch oh that'd be cute if you were like a little cropped like puff sleeve sweater <laughs> super cute um okay actually we'll do free people and anthro at the end because those are the best things let's go to the bottom of this pile jeans let's get these boring american eagles out of the way you and the american eagles american eagle 2021 it's got Ooh. the cross front so i am gonna sell these myself also for like warm fall days shorts and these are a size two. Mm -hmm. But if you find any mall brand with this cross front, I'd probably sell it myself if I were you because it's that's still so popular. very popular. American Eagle, mom, curvy mom jeans, and they're size 16. So they're a great that is a size. Good size. And they're 2021. These are actually still on the website. So that's terrifying to me that like you can buy this full <clears> retail <throat> or you can go to the bins go to the bins and pay three dollars for it yeah i almost didn't get those because like you guys saw and like i said new price at the bins but i'm like if not sell. you can take them to a consignment store and definitely make more than your couple of bucks yeah you know? this is a really good little oh lord medium petite but i think these are cropped anyways so they'll just be a little bit more cropped mm -hmm. these are like new condition they're actually so oh soft. these feel like new new it's weird how soft these are oh they have the little like but they're just like whoop. yeah they got a little moment to they're them. just like how fun high rise cropped probably what is it called like the chaturanga or something no that's lulu right no, no that's that Athleta. Athleta. Mm -hmm. this is a pair of gymshark size I... medium i think this was in that same bin with all the good stuff oh, gymshark. i love gymshark too but it does not sell well every time i find it and it's men's i give it to jack because he wears it constantly if like it's gymshark. women's if it's not a set eh, i tend to take it to like plato's closet because they still mark it up really high um I would not. Like, it's not that expensive new. No. Which I which might be always forget. Well. Yeah. Um, but I would still never skip Gymshark in the bins. No. And if it isn't selling for you, bring it to Play-Dohs because Play-Dohs love them. Take it to the consignment. And they stores. probably do market pretty good. Mm -hmm. Another oh, little size so small. These are really cute. These so are I think these cute. are slightly older. Okay, but these like, are what's in right now. Serve. They're like the kick boot legging and they have that fun like reflective little stripe to them so when you're kicking in the streets people can people see, can it. see it. yeah <laughs> people can take pictures um and yeah i really like these what was i gonna say about them that's what i say that's what i say when i completely lost my thought um yeah and i like them uh it sounds something. like when i lose my oh they're like new even though they're older they're super yeah, good condition, take good care of those. Which is crazy because we all know the athletic crunch and the Lulu crunch. But <sighs> these do not have that crunch. Then, was amazing. This? These are Athleta. Super, super new. They're the oh, these are nice. Farallon jogger, size four. So probably mm -hmm. that same girl. These are 
adorable. So she literally this is did, the type like, of athleta that I, yeah, athleta's right next to It's literally Madewell. you're in a corner. It's like Madewell, some other boutique, free people throughout their corner, athleta. Yeah. Down it's like hallway, I found a really nice mall in the bins. This but is super nice. this is the type of athleta that I absolutely love and I pay up for now because this stuff does so so good for me. This is probably 2020 or 2021, I'm sure. Let's move on to free people. Oh. So I do have a few older free people pieces. The older stuff was not from the girly bin. Mm -hmm. The newer stuff was, but I still, the older stuff is sweaters, so I still grab them. This is just an older free people sweater. Oh, this sweater. It's an extra small, but it's really oversized. And since it's gonna be fall soonish, I thought I would grab this, or else like off season, this might be something I'd probably skip. And like, it's an easy twenty yeah. eight dollars, maybe. Same with this one, and it's also extra small, but this is older as well. Cute. But again, because of the season and stuff, mm -hmm. I thought I'll grab it. Let's yeah. get the bins. Then. Now I think all the rest are from that same girl. So this is free people as well. Oh no, this is extra small. This is also, this one's weirdly older too, but it does not look like it is. So another free people extra small. And this was with those other older ones, but this one's oh, really cute. cute. I, I totally, I need to like detail this one, but I would totally pick this one up like okay. all year. Absolutely. Really cute. It's super cute. Any of the like cowl neck free peoples, mm -hmm. that's like quite popular. This is all from her. So here's another free people sweater. This one's really nice. This one's a size small and the tag's just like slightly falling out. Those metal tags. And this is one of those really oh. chunky, super nice flared sleeve. Oh, this is nice. I like this. Cowl neck sweaters and a fun like turquoise teal color. There's one spot. Is it showing up? At the front. Oh yeah, there we go. Boop, little grease stain. That's Since this is so chunky and it's a sweater, I don't really want to wash it, so I'm gonna list it how it is. But I think yeah, I think someone off. who buys it could get mm -hmm. it out. I just don't want to ruin it. This. Oh my gosh, wait, I forgot about these <laughs> gloves. Wait. And I took a picture. I should put it in the video, but I don't want to embarrass myself like that. I took a picture as a model picture. I put one of them on and just like slapped the wall. <laughs> But these are like, these aren't just costume gloves. They're really, really nice. And this is the kind of stuff that on Depop actually does really good. There's no brand. They do fit and they go up to the elbow. They're, they remind me of Audrey Hepburn. I was gonna say, they're very like. Oh my gosh, that's horrifying. Go to class like that. Hi. You'll be fired. <laughs> but yeah. They're very like Liza Minnelli. So like elbow length gloves. A lot of like celebrities. Wear these to red carpets and stuff. These are pretty popular That's right now. That's fun. So I'm putting those okay, on Depop. so now let me figure out if I can take this glove off. <laughs> Back to reality. Back to the free people. The free people. Ugh, okay. Free people size four. Shocker. It's from that same girl. Ooh, and super And these are cute, really, really cute fall pants. They are called like the... A edgy, trouser. They're called like the edgy crop or something like that. I don't know. Or like the rough something. It's a weird name. But they're like a micro plaid. I like these kind of like detailed buttons at the top. Mm -hmm. And they're kind of like an ankle length. I think the inseam was 27. No, they are super so. cute. And then this is new tag free people. Oh. oh. And it's a really, <gasps> really adorable kind of like. Oh my God, very cottage core. Ditzy colored. I'm trying to think of like. It's like a little smock top. What would you call these colors? Um, I like pastel. A, yeah, I guess. Yeah, like a pastel. Do you know what these remind huh. me of? I'm getting like, she's giving like 70s grandma sheet. Yeah. Yes. With and like they, a knit caftan. They kind it. of have the Madewell courier sleeve to them that like just boxy, slightly mm -hmm. wing. Yeah. New with tag, size small. Freaking adorable. Love. Now let's get into the anthro, which is my favorite part. Oh, of that's what that is? Yes. Oh, Lord. Okay. Um, let's start with Do the, that like, top one. I want to see what that, that top one is. I'm going to start one. with the two more boring ones. <sighs> so this gives me, like, Christmas ornament, but it's really adorable. It's, it's, it's Maeve Anthropology. Oh, my gosh. Did she write her name? I could go find her. Hi. Thank you. Uh, did you, like, do you have any more? Yeah. Are you donating <laughs> anything soon? Size medium. But it's made by Anthro, so it's newer. Ba and it's this like winged Cute. flutter ruffle sleeve. Absolutely adorable. Little top. I'm looking at that. This I need to look at the size because I was trying to list it last night and I didn't I couldn't read this. Size six. Size Oh, that's tiny. Six. Mental note, Jack, size six. Maeve by Anthro oh, as well. Hey. And it's this really cute floral lemon and raspberry and cherries printed. Yeah, this is super cute. Blouse with like the tied sleeves to it. Again, this is the kind of Anthro that I still really love to find and I would get at like a consignment store or something. Um, 
I guess we can do this one next. Yay! I've been staring at this. So this the is the time. first thing I found. Is it new? Yes. This is the first thing I found in this amazing bin. And so when I found this, I was like, I gotta dig. You in this kick bin. into overdrive because that yeah. happened to me a couple weeks ago. And we have this friend Larry there, Larry. and he was looking at the bin when I walked up to it. And he's, I will just say, he's not looking for this kind of stuff. He looks for dress shirts. Larry likes dress shirts. He likes ties and men's lovers. nice men's shoes. He's just looking for things. For and himself. so when I I pulled this out while he was looking and there is a rule of one per bin. So when I pulled it out, I said, Larry, can I take this? I know you probably wanted this dress. And he was like, you know what? I was going for that next. I love Larry. <laughs> He's so sweet. Larry's honestly like the nicest I man. I literally He's love so Larry. Sweet. Anyway. And this is a floral wrap dress and it's by Hutch, which is oh. a very expensive anthro brand. Mm -hmm. Size small. What did this retail end? Does it say? <laughs> oh, it was an online. And then they brought it back to the store. Is what that Super. yellow dot was. Freaking Literally so pretty cute. Though. So like I said, of course, when I found this, I was like, we got to do some digging. Like Larry. Buckle down. Larry, I'm going to need to confiscate this bin. <laughs> <laughs> Larry, step side, sir. No, this. This is super cute, too. Hmm. No, I'll do this. Uh, okay, I'll just do this next. Okay. This is Maeve Anthro. This is one of my favorite things I found just because of the print. This yeah, is a size US 4 so nice. and it's tigers running through a bunch of like vases and like flowers. Oh, it is. Yeah. Oh my God, how cute. With puff balloon sleeves, this is. Oh, and so it's like, is it like a tie? Cute. Yeah. I think it might be. It's like a little tie bottom. But oh how my cute gosh. Is she? Are you kidding? Oh my God, love. Oh, I'm sure that's like one of those like rare anthro so. pieces. And last of this amazing, is fantastic, this spectacular haul. This is not new. Okay. But this, I was gonna get mad. But this might sound familiar to you guys because it was recently in a bolo. It's Jenny Yu. Ooh. And it's size 12. And on the fabric tag. Does it say Beholden? It says Anthropology. Of course it Which does. is amazing because I can this listen is to Jenny so... Yu and Anthro. <sighs> Look at this color. And it's a beautiful. Look at that, Look at that movement in that fabric. Fall. Look at that. Fall. Like a fall wedding can or you like. Just like trotting around anywhere. Or a and this just... fancy fall oh. festival. <laughs> anyway. I was like, are you. <clears throat> kidding me. This is one of the last things I found. And I was like, I gotta go. My cart's full. This, this fabric, is, I just can't get over this it. This is too good. Honestly, it's so pretty. This is too good. <laughs> so, yeah. Again, Jenny Yu, Total Bolo. We just had it in the dress bolo. Yes, we did. So expensive, but it also sells really well. And mm -hmm. the Real Real takes it, and it's mm -hmm. just, it's a fantastic brand. I love this. I love this. I am sweating. I am dying. I feel comfortable and content and happy in my little green But this is the kind of, this is the kind of outfit that I feel like I thrive in. This is very fall. This is very fun. This is very war or cold weather. What were those, like, children's toys? You look like those little... Somebody, Do you know what I'm talking about? It I, was, like, those big... They had little heads, and they were... Yeah, it wasn't they Teletubbies. Just... It was, like, the Who's What's It's... <laughs> I don't remember, but I remember they were weird. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so tell me what you think. Did I hype up this bin too much? I don't know. This, this was insane. I don't think so. This was this is probably one of the best bins hauls I've had in a long time. This was really good. Even the hauls this where we really do good. find like one luxury shoe or something. I don't know, because sometimes I would prefer a haul like this where it's just You're gonna make more money off of this stuff than you would of that one pair of shoes though. Yeah. Absolutely. Exactly. So this is the kind of haul that just like you're so excited to take the pictures. You're oh, so yeah. excited about it. You're like speeding home so excited to, to take it. pictures oh. i'm pumped so a I... lot of this should be listed at this point i think or over half for sure mm -hmm. um but if not it should be listed within the next few days if you're interested let me know what your favorite thing was that i found it's probably gonna be kind of hard to choose yes i can't i know Mine might be this, just because it's for me. We will see you on Saturday for What's Sold Saturday, where Ryan will do a little bit more talking than he probably has in these past two videos. Yes, I will. Like I said, if there's any suggestion or anything you want to see for next week, we have not like set anything in stone for next week yet, mm -hmm. so let us know. I'm sure one of them will be a haul, because Ryan finally needs to go back to the bins. I can't wait to go back to the bins. Next week, I have no classes, I have no plans, but I'm going to go to the bins. But for Tuesday, let us know what you guys want to see. Yes. And we will hopefully do one of those ideas. Again, let me know what your favorite thing was. And we will see you on Saturday for What Sold Saturday. Goodbye. Goodbye.